Okay, just a quick recap. So thus far we've created our account, created a search campaign shell, we created an ad group, and ad groups are again what hold our ads and our keywords, which is what we're discussing in this module. The keywords we choose in our search campaign connect our ads to those searching using the same or similar keywords in the geotargeted areas on a map that we have designated. So when someone goes to Google or Google Maps and searches, for example, salon near me, microneedling Temecula, Google can show ads from advertisers that have the same or similar keywords in their account. This is the heart of why Google ads are so successful. No other advertising channel provides access to a steady stream of prospective customers like this. We know the searcher is interested in what we have to offer because they typed in the keywords. Searchers are pre-qualified warm leads, if you will. And for keywords, we want keywords that are relevant to our services. So if your ad group is about lash extensions, for example, the keywords should focus around that and what your target customer would search for. You should not include keywords that are not related to this one particular service of this ad group. Okay, so let's now go to the Google Ads Keyword Planner. This is our main keyword research tool. So to do that, just go to Tools over here and click the down carrot for planning and click, click on the Keyword Planner link right there. We are going to be working in the area there called Discover New Keywords tab. So go ahead and click on that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is narrow down my geography to a reasonable distance that 80% of my clientele will travel to visit me. So here's how we go about doing that. So you'll see the United States is listed right here. So go ahead and click on that and you'll see the map come up. So in my case, I'm in Temecula, California. So I'll just type in Temecula and say include. I want to get rid of the United States, so I'll click that X. And then I'm also going to include Marietta, which is very close by. So there you have it. You can see the two areas I have chosen. Again, the area where you want your ads to show should cover, encompass 80% of your customer base. Where, where does 80% of your customers come from? So once you've identified that, just go ahead and click Save. And choosing the right geography before you do your keyword research matters because of the search volumes. Obviously, there's going to be far more search volume if it's set to the entire United States versus your town or area where you are. Next, let's do our keyword research. So we want to type in a seed keyword, if you will, or multiple keywords that are all related. So um, don't type in like lash extensions and then facials. Those are two separate ad groups and we only want one service per ad group. Conversely, you can <clears throat> also in here, you can add a page on your website or even a competitor page to pull out keywords as well. But in this case, I'm just going to use the keyword lash extensions. So let's go ahead and do that and then click on results and let's see what it returns. Okay, so we can see, okay, so we can see right away that Google provided us with quite a few keyword examples related to our seed keyword. Actually, it came up with 894 keyword ideas and you can see those here. But at this point, let me take a break from the Keyword Planner and I want to explain an important concept here which has to do with keyword intent because that is an important concept when choosing keywords. So before we choose those, I want to talk about intent. And in this case, there are three types of search intent. If So there's informational, navigational, and transactional. Informational queries are what they sound like. So here are some examples of informational searches. What are lash extensions? How often should I get a facial? How do I choose the right hair salon? Or how long does a keratin treatment last? How to care for your nails after a manicure? For the most part, we don't typically want informational searches because they are typically too far away from needing the service now. They're just collecting information at this point. So adding these types of keywords means we'd purchase clicks, but probably not many would buy right away since the intent is that they are still collecting information to make a decision at a later date. These types of search terms are typically the least expensive too, since they don't have as much immediate economic value and they're further away from converting to a sale. 
Next are examples of what we call navigational queries. So these are the actual name of a business, for example, Massage Envy or Massage Heights, or Yelp reviews for La Jolla Hair Studio, or Supercuts Online Booking, or Avida Salon Locator. These are all searches for a location, physically or online. We generally don't add many of these types of queries either. And finally, the most valuable search terms are what we call transactional searches. Here's an example. Book couples massage near me. Buy gift certificate for a manicure. Keratin treatment cost. Hydrofacial cost. These are the most valuable search terms because of the intent. We know they're ready to buy now. We just have to get them to our website. And because the intent is transactional, these are also typically the most expensive keywords since everyone wants a prospect that is actively searching right now. Okay, so that's a really quick overview on keyword intent. Again, keep, in, keep that in mind when you're looking for keywords. And you're primarily going to want to focus on transactional keywords. So. One thing now going back to the keyword planner here that I want to point out are the columns that I have chosen here. So you can customize that by clicking on the columns icon and then modify columns. So here's how you would do that. Click on modify columns and we can see we can pull down different KPIs if you will or different areas that we want to see. So I typically do average monthly searches, um, competition, top of page bid low, and top of page bid high. So, Okay, so we can scroll over and see that data as well. Okay, you can see we have, again, 894 keyword ideas. That's a lot, but you can narrow that down really quickly. Uh, here's one way to do that. Just click on Add Filter, and you could say Keyword, and let's say I just want everything with the word studio in it. We're going to click on text match and apply. And there we go. Um, we can see all our keywords. Amazing eyelash studio, lash and beauty studio, view eyelash studio, best lash studio near me. So again we can see it just filtered out anything that didn't have the word studio in it. So that's nice um, because you can create an ad group just around queries related to studio. So let's go ahead and clear that filter. You can click that. Now let's do the filter again. We're going to do keyword again. We'll type in studio. Now this time I'm going to click on semantic search, semantic match, if you will. Semantic match is going to find things that are conceptually similar, not necessarily the word. So go ahead and click on that and apply. Um, and you'll see the list did change a bit, so it's finding things that are what we call semantically related. So just another way for you to organize, filter, and sort your keywords. Another way to help generate ideas is to change the keyword view to grouped view versus individual keyword list. So when we do that, we can see that Google will sort keywords into ad groups for us. And here's how you can do that. Go ahead and click this drop down there and clicked on, click on grouped view. Give it a second. So how great is that? You can choose keywords that are already organized for you. Remember, we want to keep keywords tightly focused because our ad copy will contain these keywords and our landing page as well should reflect those keywords too and that concept, whatever that is. So don't mix and match keywords from different ad groups or different services. We can click these open and you can see Lashify, keywords, uh, keywords around the word cheap, so you can really start to see the concept of ad groups here. Google did it for us. Permanent eyelashes, all keywords related to permanent. Okay, so I'm going to go back to keyword view now. There we are. We're back in keyword view. Now we just end up with our long list of 894 keyword ideas. Finally, just one more. Um, tip on helping you to refine ways to narrow your search down is off to the right here under refine keywords brand or non-brand other um, so you can click that open you can check uncheck these to further narrow um, your search and it can help to stimulate brainstorm new ideas for keywords that you could go after
Okay, so that's the end of the first part of the keyword module. I broke this up into two sections because it's a little bit long. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the next module.